welcome everyone. We had some homework. I think the question was, what is your community's minimum and maximum battery capacity requirements? Did anyone want to share what they worked out or their uh, methodology or what they were thinking? Good evening and thank you all for being here and thank you for hosting this. This is very valuable, especially in regard to what's happening around the country it's and in particular what's on the news in Hawaii, on the island of Maui. Getting engagement with individuals that are part of your community and finding a way to define community will enable you to create agreement on what is necessary to use on a daily basis. So in case of emergency, in case of a catastrophe, I looked at what is just essential. And in my thinking, it's being able to communicate and then it's able to sustain life. So in military language, you have command and control. And those are things like phones, laptops, and then quality of life. So if you have refrigeration, especially in the situation where someone has medications, maybe not even as critical as formula for a baby, because perhaps the, the, a person can breastfeed, but making sure that you can actually do what happens in emergency, which is give aid to someone who's on the ground and then before you do that, tell someone, go and get help. So for me, being able to keep my essential items charged is critical. So I'm not gonna be drinking coffee. If I need something that's cold, I'll get ice cubes from the refrigerator and we will get alignment and conversation about this. That's hopefully what we will have when we talk with people who are committed to being part of this community of people who rely on one another, not only just in this instance of an emergency or a disaster, but hopefully they'll become more reliant in general because they'll have come to agreement. So I looked yeah. at a real bare bones approach and uh, I'm not going to be, and I only want to say that to folks so that they understand it's not that they're, what what is important to them isn't important to me, but what's important for us? How are we going to take care of each other in this situation? A really good point you bring up, and that's that community discussion that we were having in the first few sessions is really defining that community, coming to that alignment of what's important to everyone in the community, and then, uh, like you're saying, the triage and and evaluating what are your necessities and what, what's not a necessity for moving forward. Um, in relation to what you were asking initially, for myself, being um, that I actually just went through this with the floods in California, we were affected by the, the rains in Planada, California, and I live in Merced, which is only about five miles out. And even in my community, where it's considered a, a, you know, a city, it's still a small community. Um, we were without power for four days. And had it not been for my neighbors that had a generator and we all plugged in our refrigerators, that's all we were grateful for. I had hot water because of my water heater, but my next door neighbor, she had some type of water heater that uses electricity that anytime she wants hot water, it's like always hot and she doesn't have to wait for it to warm up. But in this situation, she realized really quickly that it was useless because there was no electricity to man her uh, or operate her uh, water heater. So she was without hot water and we had hot water. So we shared and shared resources um, and everyone's refrigerator on our block was still on because of this one neighbor. And that is really why I looked at this situation um, as, oh my gosh, I got to jump on it. And, and I've talked to other people since I've been in these sessions and they're like clamoring to ask me, when are you gonna bring it to Merced? When are you gonna bring it to our community? How can we get this? How can we be able to learn how to bring that 
and what is your idea of what you think we should do? And, and I'm like, I don't think it's any one person that could have the idea of how and what, because each community is different. Each community has their own needs. But for myself, I think that I look at more of the disenfranchised folks that have language barriers that are living on the red line side of town that don't have money to be able to go get a generator, don't have the resources to really hook up or understand how this can work and look at the smaller groups that would benefit and offer these orgs an opportunity to, to partake so they, they can have a generator amongst their community and use it for their given population. And I look at it, if we could have several groups on that side of town to have um, a battery pack, then I, I feel like I've done a great thing for our community because those people will have something in case something happens. And then there was other folks as well that because we don't go by just by the the other side of the tracks because on each even in the affluent side of town there's also some areas that are not as affluent um, but are living in disparity and how to you know connect with those different groups so that they can also be part of this as we're as I'm learning I'm trying to like create opportunity for other folks to start wanting to sign up for a possible workshop to give them the information. We're desperate for this information. And I just thank you because we have to be proactive versus reactive. And I don't wanna be in that situation again without some kind of backup or for my community members to have a backup. Thank you for uh, raising that as well. Yeah, we definitely have to be proactive instead of reactive. I think a lot of people find out once they've gone through a disaster. Um, I think one of the key takeaways that everyone can pre-plan for is the fact that there is no savior. I think sometimes people get caught in this situation where, oh shoot, power's out, or oh shoot, there's an earthquake, and individuals have a reluctancy to take action. They sit and wait for orders, they sit and wait for news broadcasts and so forth, which is great if they're sharing something that's important. Don't head east, a major fire has broken out east. But as far as the resources that you and your family and your larger community will need, those are things that need to be planned out by the individuals, by that community. The individuals and in the, the communities that are prepared that are not waiting are the ones that everyone's going to start leaning on. Also keep that in mind. And that's a very good observation as far as looking at your surrounding communities and saying that there may be a gap or maybe a need in this community or in that community. One of the things I will stress is it's uh, the fields that have thorns in them, Blackberry field. If you're trying to navigate speaking for other communities and saying or assessing other communities and oh, this community needs this community needs that. It's kind of a, a gentler approach sometimes is to invite yourself into that community or be invited into that community. And then once you're part of the community to start running assessments. Outside people assessing what a community may need often miss the target um, because we have a tendency to champion what's inside of our own hearts versus what maybe in the needs or the heart of that community um yeah in this situation i was blessed because i'm on the planada in action board and and i was at command post when it happened uh, as soon as i could leave my home because we were flooded and we couldn't get out we were down there working with the families and they were wiped out their homes were completely wiped out and even if we had a generator it wouldn't have made a world of difference because the houses were completely flooded but for the homes that weren't completely flooded, that would have helped at least have a couple of homes that would have been able to keep food cold and work as outside uh, conduit for more food sustainability. Cause that was really where the crisis was. There was no way of keeping food uh, cold or even like you said, medications safe. 